I wanted to go over how to mirror your iPad screen. Now, why, why would you even want to do this? Well, unfortunately, some monitors and uh, TVs and computers aren't capable of doing airplay or mirroring through the network. And so you might need a uh, third party application to do so. And uh, I'm going to go over two specific applications that I found uh, are only like a annual or not even an annual, but a lifetime payment pretty much to use the software. All these other ones pretty much have a monthly payment or a yearly subscription. And so I just kind of ruled them out because I really don't want to pay. I, I already pay a lot of money for other apps and this and that, Amazon Prime, Sam Club, all this crap that's out there. You guys can understand because you live in the same world. So everything, everybody's asking for a membership. And so you have to view, app, mirror, Power Mirror, AirDroid, all these, all of these, if you do your research, ask for a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription. And I'm really not interested in that. So... <clears throat> I boiled it down to these two air server for Windows and give it a free world, which I did. I recommend you try it out yourself. But there's air server for all these different things. You can actually buy a device to help with streaming. So they have like a air stream device that uh, you can connect to your computer. Or here, no apps or dongles required. So <clears throat> you don't even need an app. It'll just stream right there. So I have a Windows machine. I downloaded that here. I was Windows 11, Windows 10, 11. And then also I have this other app that I looked into is called Reflector. And they have version 4 now. And so this application has a little more capabilities. You can cast and mirror together. And I'll get into this, the differences together. But I, And I made my decision pretty much right away, which one I'm going to go with. But I'll get into the nitty gritty <coughs> here in a minute. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open up Reflector. So all you're going to do, you'll download it and you'll install it just like any app. I don't, I'm not going to go through how to do all that. Just download it and install it on your computer like any other application and uh, go ahead and open it up. And then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and go into your phone or your iPad and just where the battery is, you'll scroll down and then there'll be a few square boxes and you'll hit that and that's what you'll use to connect so very first app we'll do reflector 4 right here how you want to connect you've got no device connected so far <clears throat> now at the bottom of your screen you can hit the windows key and k and it will show you how you project all the items you can project to your wired display wireless or wire dis displays but once you have this app open all you do is you do that battery thing I told you you go to where the battery is on your screen you just swipe down and you should see a two squares indicating a sc screen so you tap that and hit whatever the name of your PC is and then reflector 4 will open and then so this is mine here now I am, <clears throat> excuse me, now you can do several things with this app. So now I'm, I'm mirroring my iPad right now into Reflector 4. And when I go ahead and I, let's say I'm going to redo this. So I have some YouTube here. But if I go down, I, I just swipe down. 
there's the icon this uh the little two mirrors it's kind of blinking right now it's right here and you'll just hit that and then your uh device will show up now i have a tv that i can just str broadcast to and mirror to because it's it has wi-fi and whatnot so i don't even need an application to do that but on my pc i have an older screen and monitor and that's why i'm doing this whole thing because i want to be able to demonstrate all my artwork and whatnot on my youtube channel from my ipad using some apps so now that that's up <clears throat> i want to demonstrate a few differences and why i went with the program i went with here you can use a frame so on on here you have quite a different a few different features you can scale the size you can fill the screen you just right click and you can do different orientations you can always leave this on top you can do full screen and disconnect the device and then you have other settings as well just hit escape to exit that and where were the other settings give me a second here right here this little icon here uh, bear with me i'm going to turn this off so that way you can do a white ipad it's kind of cool. It doesn't really. I'm just for my purposes. I'm trying to show, show the screen. So that was on top. Where were the oh those settings were in here. So if you hit this <coughs> down at the bottom, there's two. There's like application. You go to settings here, preferences, and you can change a few things here. You can make it. Change the resolution, default size, so you can change the scale of your display there. AirPlay security, so if you want a password, you can do that. I just want to connect, so it doesn't matter to me. I'll just uh, leave it at none. And then you have on-screen code, you can, you know, or one-time on-screen code. So all that is, is here, if I close out of here, you click on So there's options in here. But if you want to connect using a code, you use your camera or you just type in a code. You can connect that way too. But I just do the airplay like I showed you. Makes things faster. It's just quite quite simple. And I with this with reflector you can do multiple devi devices. So I can do my phone. You can also uh, record. So that's. Oh. Let's go back to that. And what I want to show you. Let me open that back up. Ready. Now, what I want to show you is well, that came back up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect to AirPlay again. And the the thing that I had with this is if I'm so I'm gonna be drawing in here, and and I don't know, you can't really see it, but. Uh, <coughs> So it's a little hard when I'm drawing it and it's so it's kind of laggy. All right, if I draw some circles, go ahead and do a Loomis head type thing. Anyways, so it's really laggy. So that's that's one downfall that I didn't I wasn't really happy with. Now if I so 
I'll go ahead and disconnect that. And I'll go into air airplay here or air server, sorry. <clears throat> Close that out. And <clears throat> we'll swipe down and we'll do the same thing and connect the same way we did continue to trial and then we have some settings here very very minimalistic settings but if you do the airplay thing again it should connect and so very simplistic it's there's there's not very many options you can do like you sign on everyone general settings here and i thought i saw somewhere i think it's in if I start drawing on here now, there's virtually, if anything, there's very little lag on this. So for me, that's kind of a, a game that that's sold me the, this one. And I think if I go back to the website here, so if we go to buy, it's $21 for that. And this one air server I believe it's $19 $19 for air server and compared to Apple TV for 150 so you're saving two dollars but uh, there's 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 less lag on this one so I'm gonna go ahead and go with this air server one it's simplistic it does what I need the resolution on the recording is decent settings wise I don't really necessarily need it's recording at whatever the native resolution is for the iPad um, home screen layout center always on top you can do that so I can have it always on top let's do some more settings here take that on top off full screen run it start up you can do that keep running on close all right i know there was thought there was a way you could change your resolution but uh anyway so it does what i need it's less laggy and it's a little bit cheaper and there's only a one-time fee so i i recommend downloading uh, both to see which one suits your needs and i mean reflector it does Quite a few different things which i think that's why it lags is because it's trying to do more than what it really needs to do because you can record using free uh, software and whatnot so yeah that's i ended up going with air server i hope some of this information was a little helpful for you and uh hopefully you can make a decision based on some of this information i provided don't forget to like and share if you liked that and i will have more to come please Follow me on my journey to become master artist, and hopefully we can do that together if that's what you're into. So have a good one.